Namaste. In the previous video, we have discussed about how to calculate the flexing gauges because of the flex that is internal to the conductors. Okay, in this learning dialogue video, we are going to discuss about how to calculate the flex linkages because of the flex that is outside the conductor. Okay, let us consider a conductor whose radius is R, and uh, now in order to uh, calculate the flex linked with this conductor because of the flex that is outside the conductor let us consider two points p1 which is located at d1 meters away from uh, the radius from the conductor and uh, p2 which is d2 meters away from the uh, center of the conductor okay so now we will try to calculate initially we will try to calculate the flux link with this conductor because of the flux that is uh, existing between p1 and p2 so in, since uh, all the flux lines are in circular in uh, shape so we will try to calculate the flux link be, uh, with this conductor uh, existing between p1 and p2 okay so again uh, to calculate the flux linkages we will follow the same procedure considering a small uh, infinitesimal uh, tubular column with the uh, radius y and uh, thickness d1 okay so this is the tubular uh, small co uh, column that we are considering and again we have the flex with, uh, within this uh, distance dy okay let us see how uh, how it is linked with this conductor okay so again uh, we know the magnetic field intensity at distance y from the conductor is now it is i by 2 pi y i by 2 pi y and here it is i y because uh, there is internal current so now the total current is linked with this uh, flux so it is i by 2 pi y ampere turn per meter okay, this is the magnetic field intensity of the conductor uh, within this uh, tubular column okay, at this distance y from the conductor so the flux d5 contained in the tubular column of thickness dy can be uh, written as d5 is equals to uh, again, uh, you know the relation d5 equals to flux density into dy. Okay, so uh, instead of uh, flux density, you, if you substitute um, you know, mu into hy, then uh, this equation will be modified as d5 is equals to mu i by 2 pi y dy. Okay, so this is the expression for flux uh, flux d5 existing at this uh, this, uh, this tubular uh, thick, thickness of dy. Now, if you want to calculate the total flux, normally we will uh, uh, integrate it before that. The flux linkages can be considered as this d5 times 1. In the previous case, when you have considered about the internal flux linkages, we have considered the fractional part of the conductor with which the flux is uh, linked, that we have considered as y square by r square. Okay, but here the flux out, the outside the conductor is completely linked with the entire conductor that is full conductor so that's why we are considering it as one okay so the flux linkage uh, change in flux linkage d lambda is written as one into d5 okay so now again you can substitute d5 and they can write your uh, flux linkage as uh, so in order to calculate the flux linkages what you need to do is you need to integrate this lambda over this dy okay let us see uh, how to calculate uh, this flux linkages the total flux linkages of the conductor due to the flux between points p1 and p2 this is what we are uh, trying to calculate so we need to integrate this uh, flux linkage lambda 1 2 from d1 to d2 okay d1 is a point where p1 is located and the d2 is a distance from the uh, conductor uh, where p2 is located so you need to integrate from d1 to d2 okay if you integrate it uh, since uh, mu i 2 pi these are constants it will be integral of dy by y okay and the integral of dy by y is natural logarithm y and substituting the limits d1 and d2 it can integrate it as mu pi 2 pi times i natural logarithm d2 by d1 by per turn per meter okay so this is a flex link case flux linked with the conductor because of the flux existing between points p1 and p2 okay so now if you want to generalize this okay so if you want to generalize this uh, flux linkages for the flux that is existing from the surface of the conductor to the infinite 
distance or any point uh, which is uh, y meters away from the conductor then what you can do is you can replace these uh, limits as d1 can be replaced as r which gives you the location uh, the surface of the conductor and d2 is any point outside the conductor so substituting uh, uh, will replace this d1 with r and will replace d2 with d okay that is a generalized point okay if you substitute then you can uh, extend this uh, same to the uh, calculation of flexing gains because of uh, flex that is existing at any point outside the conductor that can be calculated okay. so before that uh, from this uh, lambda 1 2 which we have calculated the flexing gains calculated uh, because of the flex existing between d1 and d2 you can also calculate the inductance okay so simply dividing uh, this flex link with the uh, conductor with current then you will get the inductance okay. so if you divide this uh, expression with the i then uh, you will get it as and also substituting uh, mu value of mu and simplifying it you will get it as inductance uh, between for the conductor contributed by the flux included between points p1 and p2 written as l12 is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 7 natural angle d2 by d1 so if you convert it to base 10, the same uh, expression can be also be rewritten as L12 is equal to 0.461 log D2 by D1. Okay, Henry per kilometer. Here you need to uh, be careful with these uh, units. Uh, when you are considering a natural logarithm, it is Henry per meter. When you are considering base 10, log base 10, it is Milli Henry per kilometer. Okay, this is, these two things you need to consider. Okay. So now, if you want to calculate the flex linkages due to flex up to an external point, okay, this is what I explained just now. So then uh, you can uh, replace uh, those d1 and d2 with the uh, r and d respectively, uh, and uh, you can rewrite the expression for flex linkages due to external point as lambda external is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 7 i times natural logarithm d by r. Okay, so this is the flex linkages, and now the total flex linkages of the conductor due to internal and external flux is uh, given by lambda which is lambda internal plus lambda external already you have seen how to calculate this lambda internal in the previous video so uh, substituting that you get it as i by 2 times 10 power minus 7 this is the flux link with the conductor because of the internal flux now because of external flux it is 2 into 10 power minus 7 i natural logarithm d by r okay so uh, if you simplify this equation then uh, you are going to get it as 2 into 10 power minus 7 i times natural logarithm d by uh, r uh, yeah, r e power minus 1 by 4 okay so that is the flex link okay. so now let us uh, replace this r e power minus 1 by 4 with a simple constant r dash okay. In, uh, r is the radius of the conductor now we can uh, say this r dash as the uh, virtual radius virtual radius it's slightly uh, Greater than the actual radius, which is uh, given by 0 0.7788 times r. Okay, so if you replace this uh, r e power minus 1 by 4 with the r dash, then uh, you will get the flux link uh, with the conductor because of the uh, flux existing uh, internal as well as external. Then uh, you will get it as 2 into 10 power minus 7 i natural logarithm d by r dash over 10 per meter. Okay, so inductance of the conductor due to the flux up to an external point outside the conductor can be written as l equals to 2 into 10 power minus 7 natural logarithm d by r dash okay so this is the inductance because of both internal and external flux linkages okay so this is uh, how you need to uh, you can calculate the inductance uh, associated with a single isolated uh, current carrying conductor uh, because of the internal and external flux linkages. Okay, in the coming video, we are going to uh, slightly increase the complexity of the uh, system by considering two such conductors in the network. That means almost we are going to repaint a single phase equivalent, uh, sing a single phase power system network. Okay, so right now we have considered only one uh, conductor 
which is located uh, isolatedly without any conductor nearby. Now we are going to bring the uh, neutral conductor near to this conductor, and then we are going to uh, we will see how to calculate the inductance for two parallel conductors. Okay, thank you.